do not um, touch the side once we clean. But since they have stair gloves, I'll put them on in this sterile fashion. Okay. That's close up video. Okay. I don't have Facebook. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean my site before I put the tourniquet back on. <laughs> He's all right. So, I'm going to clean the site here. And while that dry, we get our tourniquet back on. your hand a little bit there for me. You want to rotate, keep the bevel up, but you want to rotate, make sure that the hub does not stick to the patient. Okay. Get a little stick. Yep. We got the side. Now we got to thread it there. Pinch it off. And I left the tourniquet on because I'm going to draw my lab right now, okay? And extra Whoa. syringe to draw my lab. I'm just going to draw a little bit so we don't want to make him pass out, okay? <laughs> he hasn't sleep. So we got CBC right now. Not the hair. There you go. My stereo and because I contaminate my blood, I, I'm going to go ahead and flush a little bit because I don't want it to clot off. And at this time, I go ahead and secure my AB with my transparent dress in here, okay? And now, uh, I would have my label and ID. Where's my extra two that she gave me? Here. Is that normal color? Blood? Yeah, you got normal color then. And the bacutator, if it's a good tube, you should just aspirate it in there. And this one, because it's a CBC, it has a substance in there to keep it from hemolyzing. You want to rotate this one right away. Okay. I'm going to leave my needle in there since I don't see a box to throw it in yet. So, okay. And now what I'm going to do, before I leave the patient's bedside, I must make sure I label his ID as well as his, um, his, um, and I get some saline to flush that later. Make sure I label the blood as well as his ID here. And I have a pen. So, because this is blue, I know this is a 21 gauge needle. Pink are usually uh, 20 gauge, and normally we use a 20 gauge. But 20 gauge, we can give just about anything we want, even a blood transfusion. This is just for normal fluids. So we usually use a 20 gauge. Okay, so today's date, I put 1, 15, 13, and I use a 20, uh, 21. And this is an angio or I think it is an insta insight catheter and then I put my initials there and I'm gonna put this right above his site here. Now you can hook him up. I start his ID site. And for now, with the tape you want to secure for safety, make sure it's not pulled out. That um, yeah. And so I wouldn't leave the blood in there, so I didn't get an extra syringe to flush it out. But I wasted that saline so we can uh, get a clean specimen with pure blood for the CBC blood count, complete blood count. Okay. So I put a little piece here.
TCC tape. <laughs> and so I secured up here. And you kind of loop it a little bit around the tube and so if it get caught on anything it'll pull away from there instead of pulling the IV out. And the same thing I would do here. Okay, so we still have a good, good uh, make sure there's another spot. This is good 72. Yeah, it's another saline because I used all of that. Okay. And so this, we just throw this away and throw this away as well. Okay. And this. Now you can also, uh, you have a site to do the catheter with the extra tubing in there for the dressing, but I dated and timed it with the dressing that came with it. So this, I'm going to put this. What's your last name, Mr. Kev? Rice. R-I-C-E. Okay. I'm going to put medical record number okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put my initial and the time that I drew this specimen is what time is it? Time is 1448. 1448. That's when you drew okay. the blood. 1500. Now it's 1500. Okay. And so now I need to label the specimen and we'll put it in our uh, lab bag and send it down to the lab. practice doing that step as well? You can because you'll be required to do that for checkoff. So okay. you can do it a separate stick or you can do it uh, stick. Um, but it's easier to do this if you have to start an IV on a patient. Yeah. It's easier to start that, uh, draw that blood at the same time. So do you always just pull back with the saline like you did? Mm -hmm. so and some people, blood. some people don't oh, even man. put the saline in the tube and right, right away because. Um, but you're taught to purge your tubing with the saline so it keep the blood from sticking and splitting. Okay. So that's why I did it. That's that why you push it. Mm -hmm. Or you actually pull it back a little bit. That's what you did, right? That's what yes. the blood got it. Okay. Yes. And so I'm just going to flush this IV site with this to get that blood. Because if I leave it standing, then it probably will clot off. Okay. So wait, I'm about to get some saline in my body? Yes. No, I'm saline. And this is natural body component elements of the body, so you shouldn't have a reaction to it. Okay. And because it has blood, you want to do it with a pulsating motion, so it'll wash it away. See that? If you hate that gray, wash it away. <laughs> okay. There you go. If you taste it, some people can say that they taste that. <laughs> he has gum now. He has All right. Taste. No, but I feel Any it. I feel it coursing through my vein. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, yeah, sometime okay. in a bag. Okay. He was a good client. Thank you. So Thank much. you. Okay. Y'all ready to practice? Yep.